Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. Now come on kawaii that this is the only place where we get to finish and finish parties. Today we're talking about marriage and on to our third question. What do you think should be blamed for the rate of high divorces right now? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Social media influence. For me, I will say social media influence. People want to be like what they see on social media. You see, flying and buy a BMW. Your husband cannot afford that BMW. The only thing your hubby can afford right now, ni paso unataka compare stress. Aku buy a BMW. So I believe marriages say this in a really wanna social media. A lot of social media influence kills is killing marriage in our Gen Z generation. <laughs> Not choosing wisely. We don't choose wisely. Divorce. Nowadays, kitu yenye naifanya ikuwe rampant moja tu. Pesa. Yes. In this country we are in, almost everything works alongside money. So, watu wengi wanatend kuachana, do mostly sasa kama kuwa wanawake kuacha wanaume. It's because labda umu wanaume ana pesa na ameona wanaume mwingine mahali mwenye anaweza care for her more than so, ana, ana divorce. Juu, at the end of the day, ya anaona tu ni kama ule ni mwanaume na uni mwanaume. The difference is, how possible are they capable of uh, kum, kum, yani, kumlisha ama kumkea. Unaona? So, mimi naeza sema, uh, that's the reason why most people are divorcing. Then, ingine inaeza kuwa differences. Unajua kuna venye mwanaume anataka mwanaume akue. Yaani mwanamke akue. Na kuna venye mwanamke anaweza taka mwanaume akue. Like for instance, naweza sema mimi nataka mwanamke mwenye ako respectful. Unaweza pata umeangukia mwanamke mwenye sasa yuko respectful. What will happen next is mta divorce. Juu amuendani. What you want is not what she can do. Maybe number one last Number two, cheating. Yeah. Last in that, a person has a wife, but you see maybe you're having other concubines out there. And you know these streets are dirty. I think ni kukosa kutosheka. Watu sikiza watosheki. So unapata kaa ni boy, anapata de mungine, ameweza kuliko wake. Ama ni boy, the same case. So I mean, I want to kutosheka. Ni inafanya watu wadi wa cheat, ataka ni do, like ni kutotosheka in, in short. Ya, yeah, ndo inafanya watu wa cheat, ama divorce ya. Hey, that, that, that's, a, that's an open question, but on my take, I will say, you know there's this saying that says familiarity brings content. When you're too familiar with somebody, you know, this is, where, this is the point when you realize what, what true love means. Because when you love somebody truly, you won't leave them when it's hard. You will stay with them even at their worst. You know, and there's this song that says, be by my side when I'm at my lowest. So these are marriages that were built on money. So I believe something that contributes, contributes to marriages ending is the, you know, you stay with somebody, then you, you, you get too familiar with them. And when things get worse, you live because I think the main reason is money. Yeah, for for mar most of the marriages, it's money and maybe the phone. You know, nowadays I might get a girl, say hey, and after you say hey to the girl, she 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 says hey back, and when your lady comes and sees it, you're dating, and you know trust issues begin from there. First of all, I think uh, people get into marriages because of pressure and uh, not because of love, yeah? So you get into marriage and then you realize, oh, so I don't even love this person. I think it has just been pressure all through. Also, it could be because uh, you did not take time and get this person prior, or rather caught this person prior to the marriage, so you didn't get to know them quite well. And uh, when you get into marriage, you realize, oh, this is not my cup of tea. So you end it. Also, I think there are some people who want to feature weight during the dating periods, and you know that is possible. For, it's possible for someone to, to hide their bad character for up to even five years. So it is, I think, down the line is just like a matter of somebody 
trying to investigate this person, um, see what kind of a person this is before getting into it. Yeah. And also, I think people should just be careful, people should just be faithful. There's some uh, miscommunication. Miscommunication. Okay. Yeah. There's a, some things in your in your result to the divorce, there's something like that. You can take time to take it over, maybe in your course of, but uh, maybe like in Julia, so that I'm gay, and maybe it's a nini, like, if, you, if the three of you like, sat down, took time, maybe I'm having this problem, I'm having this problem, let's come up to a solution, the two of you. Na, do, yeah, when you may come to decide to a marriage, like, we got two different people, obviously, like, Haitakua is such an easy thing, like, we got two different people, we got different interests, different likes and dislikes, like, we are to coexist pamoja, obviously, we got some challenges in your relationship and all that. So, like, we take time to, like, to talk things out, everything should be okay, so, we have some miscommunication. Well, there are so many reasons, but I think uh, one of the main is uh, I think people get into marriage with the wrong ideas. Maybe you're there, you're there for financial reasons. Of course, now when the finance is not there, you're out. So first of all, you define what is the reason why you're going into marriage before you go into one. pesa. <laughs> Yeah, unaleta mtu kwa ngo kwa nyumba anaona anakaa nje sana anaamua ajitoe sasa ina inaleta divorce no no i don't think we should blame we should blame the high cost of living yeah i don't think i don't think we should blame the high cost of living you know matter how i think i i don't have the reason to put it straight or correctly but i don't think we should blame the cost of living you are willing to be on a date, like blame yourselves. You don't know how to love each other, you don't know how to be there for each other, so blame yourselves. Okay, my point is, uh, as long as you are in a relationship, a uh, God-given relationship, you are in a marriage, let's say in a marriage, and uh, the two of you made a vow of being together, they always say for richer, for poorer. So you can say because the cost of living is too high, you want to... Uh, break up, you want to separate with your partner, where do you want to go to? Who will you go and find that will, uh, uh, will cater for your needs better than your partner? So you need to stick to your marriage if it was worth being. I think that there's a lot of things that could lead to divorces. One of them being financial issues. Maybe you guys have just been going through a lot and you feel like this is unsolvable and maybe somebody else can actually help you out. Um, we have infidelity lack of proper communication and also the fact that maybe you rushed into marriage and you didn't get time to get to know your partner very well then later on you realize they were not exactly what you thought they were which takes us to our fourth question do you think kenyans should embrace marriage contracts let me know what you think in the comment section marriage marriage is not a contract marriage is something you give like marriage is it is your life you give someone your life how can you say it's a contract i don't I don't believe in contract marriages. Me believe that nime kupenda, umenipenda wholeheartedly, wacha tuinge we make it work. No, we should just change. Why should I? Mbona tufate tu vitu za wazungu? Eh? Zunu za wazungu huko, we Africans. Tukienda hapo, ni kama sasa hata atuta kwa tumerespect, tumerespect culture yetu. Unona? So, mimi na yaza sema, marriage contract Sinzuri, why? You won't build a good family. And marriage contract, it will lead to uh, character differences. Maybe make a contract here 10 years in your marriage. In that 10 years, I will get a contract. I will get a contract. If you get a contract, you will get a contract. 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 How will you take care of the kids? Marriage contract, itafanya watoto, the generation to come, our kids will grow under different characters. Mtoto, by the time somebody is about 18 years, mama aga mefanya contracts kama tano. Uyo mtoto amekuwa na five different characters. Ata mwenye watakuwa confused. So it's better, 
if it's marriage mtu uone na mwanamke mvumiliane na muishi contract itafanya ita confuse the coming generation not really. we are africans africa is our business yeah vitu za wazungu tuachie hao i i think iko sawa zio sasa unajua kuna vitu vingi uwezi fanya bila kuwa married so hiyo contract iko sawa ndio unaenda unacheza pale na rada alafu ikiisha unaondokea basi hii kifika ni hapa place ya kugaana mali ah hapa itakuwa ngumu kenyans yeah because because like i said you know me this is kenya kenya you know kenya money like ni kama zinaendana hivi so yeah i i think for my for, for the bell child i think it's it's this one basis more on the female gender because uh, how can you be a male okay uh, how can your masculinity allow you to be kept by a woman and you're in a contract you're married and you're a man and the other even the scripture says you are the head of the family so i believe a lady you know to avoid being too familiar with the person and losing interest it's too early you can do it as a contract Two years then you 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 go your way i go my way yeah i believe in that strongly believe in that contract marriages i think if it's being practiced in the west and it has been successful then i think people should try it so that we avoid these issues of uh, somebody getting tired midway and then they they you know they get out of it rather they chuck uh, i don't think it's a good thing so i think they should embrace that so that everybody gets into marriage with their own reason kila mtu akona reason yake if it is kids i want i want to get into marriage for five years so that in these five years i've gotten two kids then that's fine after they get the two kids then we we you know we end the contract if i get into this marriage because I want love for a certain period of time I want company or even some people you know I know there's some people there's some political seats which I know you can't uh, run for if you are not married and you know <laughs> if uh, that political period runs for five years then get into that marriage contract for five years then divorce get out if you don't if you have no interest in the politics again so I think it's a good idea it's not really a relationship actually come on unataka to this person for this amount of time to alafu after that amount of time ni like una, you, you go look for someone else and uh, there's some two like akuna feelings and emotions when a marriage should be so no contract marriages uh, as for me no because if it's contract um, i don't know but for me no I don't think we are ready for that conversation right now. Ah, yo, yes, yes, the advice kitu ka hiyo. Mi, kwa mi kwangu si hizi advice kitu kama hiyo happen. Saju saa unaenzoa contract two years ishe umeome umezaa na mtu alafu tena uende wewe mwingine. Yo, hiyo hiyo ni tabia mbaya. Ikifika right time or kama ni ngumu waachana na I see must. Yeah, see must. Unaweza ka hivyo single na maisha ikuwe poa. I, I don't think we should reach at that to that point yenye tunasa tuna ni contract marriages kama movies I believe that, that should remain in the movies the contract marriage like we should not embrace that no it's not necessary okay you know as africans we have we had and we still have our values so when this western western region came we find that now the africans want to embrace western culture so i don't think it's necessary to have this uh, contract marriage when you marry someone when you find someone to stay with you need to be for a it, it needs to be for a lifetime not for contract because that's not necessarily marriage uh, maybe we can say it's a date it's a date for a period of time not a marriage yeah I am 50/50 about this. I am um, I'm trying to be open-minded and I think it would be a good idea for maybe those couples who are not so sure I get what they want. Although I don't know why you'd be getting married if you don't know what you want. Like it's it's sort of a red flag if you think about it because we marry to you know they say till death do us part. So if you're marrying with a contract of like 2 years, 5 years then doesn't mean you have ulterior motives. Also It is it is a very good chance for these people who who cannot choose between two people and they decide oh I want to go on a road test with each one of them. So if you think about it it could be a good thing depends on what you guys agree on and what you want. 
we have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, SK Gitunga. Till next time, bye.